These are three abandoned cars. But not anymore, because they're my houses now. I'm gonna be living in these three cars. These three homes, these three mobile homes, if you will. But here's the twist. Whichever car I choose to get running and drive home, I get to keep. I already know that one and that one, they both run. They just need a tiny bit of work. Anyway, before I make this choice, here's a quick introduction to all three of these cars. First things first, we have a 1994 Ford Tempo, AKA 57. Now this thing is a beast. As you can see, we got luxury interior. This thing maxes out at 80 miles per hour. And it looks like it comes with a full tank of gas. But the interior is one thing. I mean, under the hood is the thing we all want to see. What the heck? And it looks like we got a trustworthy stick to hold the hood up. As you can see, this thing has a monster of an engine. It's got a, a four cylinder, a straight four. I mean, these things are solid when they run. Low key, it looks kind of mean. It looks like it's missing a tire, but that's not that big of a deal. And what is that? What does the other side look like? Oh my gosh. So next we have a Bel Air. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get this thing running. Um, the interior is a little worse for wear. Um, and by the looks of the speedometer, it maxes out at 120, which is faster than the tempo. It also comes with a full tank of gas. It comes with zero tires. It looks like the horn is still in it though. Zero engine. And a whole lot of rust. So that's about it for the Bel Air. I don't know what year it is. Let's have a look at our next contender. This is a Buick Century. I'm not sure what year it is, but it's definitely old. I mean, the downside is it comes with an empty tank of gas. And I'm not really for this interior. I think I prefer the um, Ford Tempo's interior. Let's have a look under the hood. Anyway, down here we got a, so it's a V6 engine, it's got six cylinders, I mean, it looks like somewhat of a decent engine, but I'm not a huge fan of General Motors, so, so I don't know about this, this engine or anything else under the hood. Well, now that you've seen all the cars, it's time for me to make my choice on which one I'm going to live in and get running and drive home and keep. I think this is a pretty obvious um, answer of which one I'd pick. One is definitely a, a lot better than most of the other cars out here. So I think we all know which one it is. The Ford Tempo. This thing is a beast. We're gonna get this thing running and drive it home. So I'm gonna go pack my bags so I can come live inside this beast of a car. Hopefully I don't live here for too long. I mean, I think I could get it running within a couple days. Well, I'm home. Yay. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, gosh. Please tell me when I drop this, my laptop didn't get damaged. Okay, thank goodness. I mean, I need to get my house ready to sleep in. All right, so first order of business is probably gonna be to see if we can get electricity in there, which would be through putting a battery inside of it. I have an old battery that was on the charger. I don't know if it's got that much power in it, but we're gonna see what we can do with it. And see what kind of power this beast has got. Got the good old fashioned stick. That's what the pioneers used. Worked perfectly fine. Place in theory. All right, let's see what this, um, let's see what this battery's got. All right, here it goes. What the heck is going on here? This isn't the right key. This is an Acura key. We got the wrong key in here. As you can see, this belongs to an Acura. So someone must have switched out the keys maybe? So, so you guys know, we have a couple more cars over here. As you can see, that's where the Acura is. So I'm gonna go see if um, the right key is inside the Acura because maybe someone swapped the keys, I guess. Here's the culprit. Let's see if the right key is in here. Ford key? Where are you? I really don't see the key in here. 
Where the heck can the Ford Keep possibly, possibly be? Is it down here? This bad boy's a Type S. It sounds like knockoff Type R. I know Acura and Honda are basically this, not the same company, but they're both, I think they were the same company at some point, but it doesn't matter. What does matter is where this key is. Well, if I can't find it inside the, um, the 57, then it's over because it wasn't in the Acura. So if I can't find the key in here, then it looks like we're moving on to the Bel Air. I didn't really put in the effort of checking the um, glove box because it looks like rats have been in there, so. Bro, oh my gosh. It was in the glove box and it fits the ignition, so we found the key. All right, with the key in place, let's see what she's got. Service engine soon. It's been a couple of years. This engine probably does need serviced. We're getting something. <laughs> The horn works. Well, we can shift it. Hey, the wipers work. Let's go. This is an this is an absolute win. We got lights. All because of this battery. This beast is one step closer to driving. I can tell. So I'll be working on the engine tomorrow to see if I can get it running and maybe drive out of here tomorrow. That'll be quick, but I need to clean out the inside because I got to sleep in it tonight. This is all I got, so I'll try to make the most of it. Got her running. I could start my music career right here in the back of this Ford Tempo. Why am I cleaning the back? I'm not sleeping in the back. This is the storage space. I don't need to clean it. I wonder if this is going to be really scary at nighttime. Because I think I'm just going to, I don't know. Am I going to sleep in this chair? So one thing I'm definitely going to need is a tire. If I get it running, I got to have a tire to drive it. So I'm going to try to go find a four lug tire that can hold air. So it might be tough. It might be dark when I get back. Hopefully it's not too dark, but so I was able to find a tire, but it's too dark right now. I'm going to bring it out later. I'm going to bring it out tomorrow. There's the old beast. This thing is a monster jam. The roof is bent inward like someone's been standing on it. Maybe I can fix that tomorrow. Yeah, my option is to sleep in here or the Buick. The the Buick can be like the master bedroom and this can be like the, <laughs> this could be the living room. Um, I don't know if it's fit to sleep in here because the doors don't lock. These chairs don't go back at all and I don't want to sleep back in those chairs. So I think my best option is to sleep in the Buick. So looks like I'm bunking in this beast tonight this abandoned car. I moved into an abandoned car and then I had to sleep in it. And what the heck is that? Bro, this is so sketch. All right, so my bag's right there. We're inside the Buick. I'm in the back seat. Are you scared of the cold, you little weenie baby? It's currently negative 18 degrees outside. I can well, guys, as you can see, I'm gonna fall asleep like this. Um, I was just chilling, watching some Ryan Trahan. The thing I don't like is that it's like deadly silent. The only noises you hear is like scary noises in the woods. Pretty solid night of sleep if I do say so myself. All right, so I'm back. And if I don't get this car running within today or tomorrow, then I might just abandon it again and choose a different car because I don't know how long I want to put into working on it because if I could get it running today, I could put a tire on it, maybe air up the other tire and then potentially drive it away, which would be awesome. But so there's a battery inside of it. So let's just. All right. So the key's not doing anything at all. So I think I'm going to look for the solenoid to see if it's just the key being bad. Where is this sol solenoid? Um, that, oh, I don't. Does this thing even have a solenoid? I'm pretty sure it should. There it is, I found it. Let's see if we can override. That is good. That's a very good sign that it turns over that easily. All right, so I put a little gas into there. It, it should start like that. So if there's, if there's fire in the engine, it should start. 
I told you guys it runs. Um, I guess we just need to see if there's gas running from the fuel pump to, if we can get gas flowing from to the tank to here, then it'll start easily and it'll drive if the, if the fuel system works. Don't worry, I had a gas tank in my inventory. So I'm gonna take this off. Um. I don't know if it's empty or dry, but if gas shoots out of this when I'm turning over the engine, that means the ga the fuel pump is working. I mean, it it doesn't look completely dry right here, but I didn't see any gas coming out, so I'm not sure if the fuel pump is coming on. Ow. That hurt. And I don't think the fuel pump is working. So I'm gonna try to get down here <laughs> this isn't a very common method, but I'm going to try to see if we can prime up the fuel pump just by. If the fuel pump doesn't work, it's literally over for us because I'm not dropping the gas tank to put a new fuel pump inside of there. The fuel pump isn't doing anything my method didn't work i mean this car has been sitting here for years so the fuel pump is probably bad all right please let something happen um i think our battery is dying so i'm gonna have to go charge it i've made it severe and continuous lapse of my judgment. I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. This fuel pump is bad, which means this car ain't driving. In other words, there are those who ain't, those who knee high on a grasshopper. Might as well just listen to some tunes. And then you can quit your job. And then you're totally free. And then you, you can, can quit your job. Why did I choose this stupid 57? So it looks like I'm gonna be living here longer than I expected. It's looking a little stormy. And it should be stormy because it's a sad day. My car won't drive. It's got a bad fuel pump. And there are a lot of blackberries out in these woods. As you can see, look at all these bad boys. I need to go put all these blackberries in the fridge of my house so I can pick some more. Maybe I could put them in the radiator to help keep them cool. It's starting to rain, and it's just too painful looking at this car. I mean, I thought the baseball bat thing would work. <laughs> it's obviously not the car that I'm driving out of here, so I'm going to have to think out my plan and figure out how I'm going to escape these woods because I don't have a getaway car yet. My th I'm going to leave my three houses, my three mobile homes, and I just need to like get out of the house for a little bit, so I'll be back. Driving away my transportation. Don't hurt me no more. This video is the launch of my music career. All right, so I'm pulling up home after a long night. I think I'm just gonna go straight to bed. No joke, this is kind of terrifying. So here's the time lapse of me trying to fall asleep. I probably laid there wondering why I make the kinds of videos that I make. And one thing that's a little creepy is whenever the sun starts to rise, you can see that my eyes are moving rapidly. And I had no idea your eyes moved that much while you're sleeping. So that was a little creepy to discover. Good morning. That wasn't the worst sleep ever. I mean, other than not being able to bend my legs, that was... It was perfectly fine. I'm probably gonna go make some coffee and then get this car driving. Man, it's a foggy morning. What a morning.
As you all know, this car is not gonna drive. So last night, I charged the battery, and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put it into this car, put some gas in this car, and see if it'll run. I think there aren't any problems with this. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this one and this one both drive. So it's my new getaway car. Let's see what things got. Oh no. Please, yes, I left this one unlocked when I got out this morning. Where is the key? The infamous clicking sound. Wiggled a couple wires. Oh my gosh. Woo, yeah baby, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it sounds bad, but at least it's running. It's time to see if it drives, and if it does, then it's my great escape. Oh my gosh. Well, it's time to drive off into the sunset.